In this video, we're going to build an AI agent using Grok 4's brand new model introduced by XAI. So the recently a brand new model just came out from Grok 4. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and build an AI agent inside N8N. In this case, it's gonna be a customer service and support agent for an Airbnb company. So a perfect use case for this AI agent. And if you don't already know me, my name is Ashton. I run a company called Ambotics AI, where I've been helping businesses implement AI solution to save time, cut costs and drive growth. So if you are a business owner and you are looking to implement AI, feel free to book a call in the link in the description below. And this entire AI agent, it's prompt and everything and all the resources I use to build this agent is gonna be available completely for free in the link in the description below. So without further ado, let's get into the video and I'll explain what Grok is, how the agent works, and then also a demo. And then I'll go ahead and show exactly how to build it um, utilizing Grok. So let's get into it. Before we actually go ahead and build the agent, I just wanna explain what Grok 4 is, its new capabilities, and some of the new things and what this really means for people, you know, in the AI space and how it can impact our AI agents. So first of all, you know, Grok claims it was the most intelligent model in the world. It was just recently released on July the 9th, 2025. And we can actually see by the humanities last exam that it that it performed extremely well with over a 50% um, test rating on this thing. So essentially what the humanities last exam is, is a benchmark created by the center for AI safety and to scale AI to assess the capabilities of the advanced AI system. So humanities last exam is essentially a test that all these AI models go through to assess its capabilities. So we can see right here on Grok's um, website and in this article that it extremed extremely well with the first AI model that has performed over 50%. So this just proves that this model is extremely efficient, it's extremely fast, and it's also gonna be extremely good in building and utilizing it for AI agents. So I just kind of wanna go over some of the parameters for this agent. So it has over 1.7 trillion parameters, a 250,000 context window and an output speed of 7.3, uh, 73.3. So essentially what this means is the parameters is essentially the knowledge and um, the knowledge of what the AI agent has. So if we compare this to other models like Claude, which only has 500 billion, Gemini that has 1 trillion, we can see here that Grok has a wide range of knowledge that is accessible. And then the last thing I wanna highlight is the tokens per second. So 73.3. So meaning this AI agent is gonna be extremely fast in its responses. So this is just proving that, you know, as these AI agents and models and um, LLMs get better, our AI agents are gonna get better that we build for businesses. So. That's essentially kind of the, uh, the specifications of the model. And then what does this mean for AI agents? So, you know, it has a bunch of use cases for AI agents, such as academic and research, customer service, which is what I'm gonna be building in this video, and then enterprise and business. So for customer service, you know, it's gonna be able to use its huge knowledge and advanced reasoning to understand the user's queries in question. So that's just kind of a run through quickly about what Grok 4 is about. And yeah, so let's get into the video and I'll show you how to utilize this model and build it. So we're going to be using three softwares and tools. So we're going to be using high level to receive these SMSs and then send the information via webhook to N8N, which is then where we're going to be utilizing Grok4 and attaching it to an AI agent to then send messages back to go high level. And of course, we're going to be using Grok4 as the, um, the AI model in this case. So that's essentially in short how the AI agent works. And just a quick overview of the agent here, we can see that as the webhook comes in, it's going to be utilizing Grok AI's model right here contacting the AI agent, storing it in a memory base, and then sending the webhook back to go high level. So yeah, that's essentially in short how the AI agent works. So now let's go ahead and I'll get into a demo of it. All right, so now you're actually gonna see how it's gonna utilize Grok to build a SMS customer service or customer support agent uh, on SMS. So right here, I'll just say, hello, like pretending I'm an um, Airbnb customer. What is the Wi-Fi password? So we can see right here, that's gonna have a new execution. Again, this can really be on any form of, you know, medium, whether it's WhatsApp or, um, you know, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, right? I'm just using SMS for this example. And we can say, okay, thank you. And where is the closest coffee shop? So again, this just saves, you know, in this case, the Airbnb owner so much time because we just have an AI agent answering all the questions. So you can see the closed coffee shop is Brun Co. So utilizing a knowledge base, of course. Okay, okay. Thank you. And, um, you know, 
you to, I'll just say, what is the quiet hours, please? So you can see the AI agent has the capability to answer any customer questions and queries. And then right here, I'm also gonna show you how it's gonna send a Telegram notification, you know, for maybe emergency things. So I can say, uh, there is a emergency, I would just say like, the, the stove is broken. Um, so right here, it's actually gonna go ahead and realize that it's an emergency and, out, and it's outside of its capabilities and then it's going to send a Telegram notification. So if we go ahead and check right here, we can see I've received your message and they have notified the host immediately. They'll contact you shortly. You can see that it's sent a new uh, Telegram message. You know, in this case, it might be to the host or to whatever uh, utilizing and letting them know that it's an emergency. Yeah, so that's exactly how we can use Grok right here um, to access, you know, all of its capabilities and functionalities in the new model to then go ahead and build an AI agent out of it. So, okay, so we're in high level and this is gonna be the platform we're gonna be using to essentially receive and send SMS. So you can see right here, this is the conversation within the high level system. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to go ahead and create this AI agent using high level to send and receive messages. And then we're also gonna be utilizing N8N to go ahead and process it, use the AI brain, so use Grok as well. So if you do wanna create this system, it's gonna go uh, in automations. And then right here, I'll just go ahead and show you the, the automation. So I'm in a demo automation, and then this is the automation uh, right here inside high level so we can see this is how it's going to work so each time a customer is going to send an sms it's going to trigger this workflow so just like how it happens in nan it's going to be the exact same thing in high level so all it's doing is it's triggering a new workflow each time an sms comes in it's going to come into high level and then it's going to send that webhook out to nan so again if we go back over to here into the editor we can see that this webhook again, is attached to this high level workflow that is then sending out that information via JSON. So it's gonna be sending the message body and that's all we really need, the email, the phone, and the ID. So everything is gonna be sent utilizing that um, this workflow right here. So again, as the customer SMS comes through, it's gonna be sending that webhook address by this webhook address right here. And then it's gonna be sending it by these values right here. So if we just go ahead and um, go back to here and we go to a test URL, go to here, we paste this in, you save it, save trigger. So you're gonna wanna do this before each and every one if you do wanna create this. So I'll just select the contact, I'll just do myself. And then we can see that it's gonna send this information. Um, I don't think there'll be a message body because I haven't particularly set an SMS but we can see that once we trigger this workflow right here and we come back to here and send a test request, it's then gonna go green. So this is essentially establishing the connection. If you do wanna do this, make sure it's on a post method. Uh, that's the only really type of webhook that's working uh, at the moment inside high level. So we can see right here, this is gonna be how it's gonna be communicating with N8N to provide these responses. And then the last kind of thing is to send the SMS, which right here is gonna be the webhook response. So you want this exact um, variable in high level to then go ahead and send the web response. So yeah, that's exactly how it is going to, to send uh, SMSs. So again, if you wanna go to high level, just go ahead and sign up in the link in the description below. I've got, I think it's a 14 day free trial with high level. So you can go ahead and actually, you know, test this out. You will need an SMS number though, but if you do wanna test it, you know, within N8N, if you want to use the chat function or, you know, whatever you may want to use. That's essentially how it's going to be connected to N8N. So that's really simple. It's again, using that webhook, sending that information by JSON, again, just like we would do in any other system. So that's really the power of these webhooks. So again, this right here is the workflow inside, inside N8N. So as we can see, first of all, the information comes in via webhook. Again, making sure that webhook address is, we'll just click stop listening, making sure that webhook address is the same in high level to then receive that information. So that's the purpose of these webhooks. And then the AI agent right here. So we have the customer message, which is hello. So this is whatever is coming in from that SMS. It's coming into the AI agent to then process uh, the tools and then process the response. So right here, I've got the prompt. Again, if you do want this prompt and template, I'll leave it down below in the link in the description. But here I've just said, you know, your name is Emily, a friendly, efficient, and help, 
a helpful virtual assistant for an Airbnb property. Your goal is to provide excellent customer service to Airbnb guests by answering their questions and addressing their needs promptly. So that's essentially its role, its goal, and then its task. So how it's gonna be handling these conversations in, in the context of a human or customer support or service agent for an Airbnb. So we can see right here, we're gonna acknowledge and understand the user's message. We're gonna access the information by using the Google Docs tool. So always using that knowledge base to make sure it's getting up-to-date and accurate answers. And then from there, we're going to be formulating response. So again, just talking to the customer, you know, AI does this pretty well, Grok does this pretty well. So again, formulating response, you know, in a way that a human can understand, obviously. And then from there, I've given a context and an example scenario. So again, just a standard prompt, um, but really what's special is that we're using Grok's uh, new model. So if you wanna go ahead and add Grok, you're gonna need to go ahead and do create a new credential and all you need is an API key. So so to get this API key and connect with Grok, you wanna come over to the console.x.ai. So this is where you can create these API keys and connect the agent. So I've already created my API key, but if we go over to API keys right here, we can actually create an API key, give it a name, N8N, and then um, save. And then it's gonna produce an API key right here, which is this long line of text. And all we have to do to connect it is just go back here and paste it into the API key. So again, I've already done it with my X account. Um, so that's exactly how you're gonna connect the Grok AI model. And then from there, we're gonna be using the new model. So Grok 4 right here, as we can see, to have all those capabilities. So that's exactly how you're gonna be able to connect Grok. It's just yellow because I've changed changed the capabilities um, of Grok. And then from there, the memory is just using a simple memory with inside N8N. So it's just gonna be remembering, you know, five pass messages with inside uh, this key right here, which is just the contact ID. So again, yeah, this contact ID is just the ID which it has received inside this webhook. So if we just go down to here, we can see that that is gonna be the ID. So now it's gonna be using that ID for each customer that comes into this SMS system uh, to utilize that right there as the key. So that's how it's gonna be using, just again, using a simple memory, we're not using RAG in this case. And then from there, we have a Google Doc node right here, which is essentially what it's gonna be using to access all of its knowledge. So this Google Doc looks exactly like this. I just generated this by, you know, AI, ChatGPT, just to make sure it's, you know, viable for this demo. So the AI is gonna have access to all this information right here. And to get this, you're going to need a client ID and a client secret. So you wanna go ahead and head over to, I'll show you how to do it actually. Google Cloud, um, right here. Click on Google Cloud Console. I'm gonna load in right here and go to API and services. And then right here, Google Docs API, or if you don't have this, just go to library. We'll just do it the easy way. And then search docs, docs API. Again, you can use any knowledge-based system if you want to use RAG or if you want to use you know, Microsoft or whatever. I'm just using docs in this example. And then click manage. Go down to credentials. And then this is where it's going to give us that client ID right here. Again, if you do want to make a new... Um, you're gonna need a auth 2.0 client ID. So I've already got it right there. But you wanna create one, obviously, and then you'll have the client ID and client secret right here, which then you'll just go ahead and, and paste right here. So that's exactly how you can connect docs. And then finally, the last thing that we're gonna need is the doc URL or ID. So if we head over to here, that is just gonna be this uh, form of you know characters right here after that uh, D right there with the slash, so D slash, and then all of this, uh, line of you know text is going to be the doc ID. So again, you want to go ahead and copy and paste that, and that's exactly uh, simply how the AI agent is going to have access to a knowledge base. And then finally, we have a Telegram tool right here. So we can see right here the text is just going to be the output of the AI agent um, from there. So again, utilizing Telegram to send an internal notification. I won't go ahead and um, show you how to connect it because I've done it in previous other videos. If you want to watch that. Um, yeah, but essentially that's how it's going to contact Grok, you know, use a simple memory database, use Google Docs, and then obviously the last module right here is to respond to a webhook. So this is just the body and JSON body we have, which is just a simple custom JSON body, um, letting the Go High Level know, which is if we go back to here, 
you can see that that is going to be this exact response right here. And you want to make sure if you are doing this in high level that it looks exactly like this. Because if you just put, you know, custom webhook three output, it's actually not going to go ahead and map it. It's going to come up with an error. So you need to make sure that um, you have this configured exactly like this. If you do want to build this system in go high level uh, to this webhook right here. And then obviously you want the response body like this. So yeah. Yeah, that's exactly how, you know, we can use Grok's new model, its intelligence, its brains, and its smarts to build an AI agent. So hopefully you got a little bit more understanding and hopefully you know how to now use Grok AI to build an AI agent with inside NAN. And of course, if you are a business owner and you are looking to implement a solution or AI solution just like this, um, feel free to book a call in the link in the description below completely for free. Or if you've got any questions, we'll be happy to answer that as well. And of course, this entire AI agent with Insight N8N, if you want to go ahead and download it with everything already installed, will be available in the link in the description below. But yeah, without further ado, I'll see you in the next video.